In this video, we're going to be talking about chromatography, which is a way of separating the components of a mixture based on the component's attraction to either a mobile phase or a stationary phase. And the example that we did in class was to use filter paper to separate the components of a black ink mixture. So within the black ink, you saw that there were a bunch of dyes, and it looked very similar to this. So the mobile phase was the water that was traveling across the filter paper, and the stationary phase was just the paper. So how strongly something stuck to the paper versus the mobile phase impacted how it moved. If the, thing, if the component traveled very far, it was more attracted to the mobile phase. If it traveled less, it was more attracted to the stationary phase. Another, way, another type of chromatography is called gas chromatography, which uses what you would think a gas. So it consists of a column, which is basically just like a, t a tube, that's usually coated with something. And you, pass, you inject a sample that's a mixture into the injector port. And then you're going to have air flowing through. Typically, it's in a thermostatic oven, or just basically a controlled temperature oven. And the particles that are very volatile or likely to become a gas will get carried more rapidly by the air through the column. And the ones that are less likely to be in the gas phase, so they're either you know, lower vapor pressure or they stick really strongly to the, the column, depending on what it's coated with, will take longer to come through. And at the end of it, you have a detector that tells you when stuff is passing through. So it's a way of separating components of something that's considered fairly volatile. So if you had a mixture of like say gasoline where you have a bunch of different hydrocarbons with different molecular weights, some travel fat, some will be more likely to evaporate than others. They'll travel at different speeds and you can separate them out and a detector will identify when they're coming through. And the last type I'd like to talk about is called HPLC, which stands for High Performance Liquid Chromatography. Just like the other ones, it's the affinity of something of a component of the mixture to the mobile phase versus the stationary phase. And in this case, the column contains some sort of gel or residue that will be, some of the stuff will be attracted to and some of the stuff won't be. So the components that are more attracted to the solvent that's passing through will travel through faster and go through the detector and you'll be able to see it come through. You also have um, stuff that will stick more strongly and will take longer to go through. There are also other things that can be manipulated to control how fast or slow things come off, but essentially the idea is that it separates the components of a mixture based on the attraction to either a mobile or a stationary phase. 